Welcome to this Modifying Table Calculations video. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Here, we have the running total of profits by month. Let's ask a new question. At the level of monthly profits, has technology had the highest running total of profits each year? To answer this, we need to modify the view and the table calculation. We'll add discrete year to columns and bring category to color. But hmm, this is a combined running total from 2012 to 2015. I want it to be a unique running total per year. Because of the question we're asking, we have to modify the way the table calculation is being computed. Right click on the pill and select Compute Using. Here are several options for the scope and direction of how the calculation should be computed. But to see better what these options mean, let's instead choose to edit the table calculation. Now, as we click through the options, we can see what changes. Tableau has defaulted to have the calculation run along table across, meaning we see the running total of profits across all four years but we want to know if technology had the highest running total each year, so we want to look at each year independently. Changing the scope from table to pane gives us this calculation, computing the running total for each pane or year, and it looks like technology did have the highest running total of profit each year. We saw that table across and pane across provided different interpretations of the field set by using a different scope. For our data, the direction, across, down, etc., doesn't matter, as this is a fairly simple arrangement. A great way to see the distinction between combinations of different scopes and directions is to use the percent of total calc on a cross tab of numbers. Here on the Scope and Direction dashboard, the subtotals for each combination of direction and scope are slightly different and allow for different questions to be answered. You may want to pause this video and explore the dashboard, as we will not go over it. If altering the scope and direction of the table calc doesn't give the results we're looking for, we have even more control over how the calculation is computed by referencing specific dimensions. All dimensions in the view will be used in a table calculation, either for partitioning or addressing. Partitioning fields scope the data. They define the groups of data the table calculation is performed on, like using pane to partition our data by year earlier. Addressing fields are any dimensions not used in partitioning, and they determine the direction of the calculation. The order of addressing fields also matters. Here we have the percent of total sales broken down by category and subcategory. To see which fields have been categorized as addressing or partitioning, we can edit the table calculation. We see that the scope and direction is tabled down, and the partitioning and addressing fields are automatically determined by this selection. However, if we want to change these ourselves, we simply need to select specific dimensions. In this list box, we see that both category and subcategory are checked. Anything checked is addressing the data. Let's uncheck both, making them partitioning fields. Now every percent of total is 100%, because the calculation is running on the partition of subcategory and category, so each is 100% of itself. If we only check subcategory, we're now partitioned by category and addressed by subcategory, and we see the breakdown within each category as a distinct unit. We can see, for example, that phones make up almost 36% of the sales in technology. If we check both subcategory and category, making them both addressing fields, we're back to being table scoped with no partition, and we see that phones are only 13.5% of the overall total across all categories. In this example, it doesn't matter if category or subcategory is at the top of the list box but the order can matter as it controls the order in which the calculation is run. We can drag fields to change the order. Check out the online help for more information.
Because table calculations can be set to calculate at odds with the visual arrangement of the data, or in a view that's not as immediately understandable as a crosstab, it's important to understand what's going on when you select a Compute Using option or determine the addressing and partitioning fields with specific dimensions. Check out the resources under the video to learn more. Thank you for watching this Modifying Table Calculations training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.